For the circuit in figure 1 below, this one, find and draw the Thevenin equivalent of the port defined by terminals PQ. Utilize MNA to solve any circuit that arises in your solution. MNA means modified nodal analysis at this port. Part of our test, of course, is to identify what is the fastest and safest path towards the solution. We can solve this using the classic method of open circuit voltage and short circuit current, and that is fine. We could use the one amp to amp method as well. But for this particular circuit, it is much faster to find the open circuit voltage here, and that is going to be V7, V open circuit, and to find then the equivalent resistance, the thevenant resistance by killing all the sources which happen to be independent sources. That's why we can use that method and determining what is the equivalent resistance between nodes P and Q. Let's begin by finding VOC. To solve that circuit, we use MNA, reference node, nodes 1 and 2. This is not a node right now. There is nothing connected here. This is an open circuit. So P is a binary node. We have only the need for two KCL equations, one for this node and one for this other node. For node 1, KCL1, currents that go in, node 1, this one, 36 minus V1, divided by 12. And that is equal to two currents. This one, V1 divided by 12, plus this other current, V1 minus V2, divided by 2. And then we write the KCL equation for node 2. KCL equation for node 2. Also with three currents, going in this one and leaving 3 amps, and V2 divided by 28 ohms. This one. We have two equations, two unknowns, and we solve for them, V1 and V2. But observe that the voltage that we need, VOC, is neither V1, which is this one, or V2, which is this one. The voltage we need is the voltage in this 18 ohm resistor. Once we have V2, we can apply a voltage divider of V2 between these two resistors. These are the two equations. Let's solve them for V1 and V2. I tell the calculator what are the two unknowns I want to solve for V1 and V2, and we ask for a solution with a symbolic solver. That is V1, and this is V2, negative 14 over 3. V2 is negative 14 over 3 volts. But the voltage we want, VOC, is given by a voltage divider, that is V2 times 18, divided 18 plus 10, 28. And that is negative 3 volts. And that is no other than the V7 that we're looking for. Half of the question. The other half is finding R7. To find R7, we kill the sources. We can apply that method because all the sources are independent here. This becomes an open circuit, and this one becomes a short circuit. Like so, open circuit, short circuit. The equivalent resistance that turns out to be R7 would be if these two resistors in parallel 12 and 12 in parallel, that is 6 in series with 2, that would be 8 in series with 10, that would be 18. 18 in parallel with 16, and that is 9 ohms, and that is R7. So the equivalent circuit turns out to be negative 3 volts, that's why I draw it like that, upside down, a resistance of 9 ohms between nodes P and Q. And that is the solution to this exercise, at least possibly the fastest way of solving this exercise. Thank you very much.